back. It is a, another lovely weekend in New York City. I actually went to Toronto earlier this week for a few days to go see Taylor, go to the Masters event that was there. I got to see some girlfriends there that I haven't seen in a long time. I did not vlog while I was there. I was only there for like three days. I actually was not planning to go to any tournaments this month or go to really any of the US swing, but there was a work opportunity in Toronto. Um, they'll be able to share in a few weeks. It was really, really nice to see Taylor and go, you know, to matches again. I like definitely missed it. That was the longest time that we've spent apart in a long time just because I travel with him so much now. He really, really wanted me to go to Cincinnati with him, but I just have too much stuff going on in New York for the next two weeks. And while it is really nice to do my own thing in New York, at this point, it's not his life or my life. It's our life that is what building a healthy partnership is so i'm really excited for him to come to new york next week and just get back into the normal routine so i went on a walk this morning and honestly i'm just gonna do what work all day i have a ton of stuff to edit and then i need to get some stuff together for a pop-up that i'm actually doing here in new york so basically starting on august 24th there is an adorable vintage shop called a boat on elizabeth street you've honestly probably seen it on tiktok so we will be selling the lottie tennis necklace and the bracelet in the store for a few days leading up to us open one of the most common messages that i've gotten since we released these is how surprised people were by how high quality the pieces are this is the first product that i've ever done i've had other opportunities to work with other brands in the past, but this was just, as I've said, a much better fit for me. But it also is extremely nerve wracking because I feel like there's so many negative connotations around influencer brands. And it's such a fine line to do anything like this because you can't release something that's low quality. You also can't release something that's so overpriced that it's out of touch. You definitely can't release something that is low quality and overpriced because why would you do that? So it was really important for me to release something original, not taking anything from someone else's brand, and also walk on that very fine line of being high quality and affordable enough. That being said, we're also doing a giveaway around US Open, so if it is out of your price range, I really want to give everyone the opportunity to get one. So if you're based in New York and you are kind of on the fence about it and wanna come check them out, and also just come check out the store, it's on one of the best streets in New York. Elizabeth Street has amazing shopping, amazing coffee shops, and the store is so, so cute. So I think it's worth coming to regardless. Another amazing thing about the store is that they have two custom embroidery machines. So we have created a menu of little embroidery designs that are all tennis themed and US Open themed. It's perfect because it's right before US Open. So you can come in and get pieces embroidered. I cannot even describe to you guys like how cute these designs are and how perfect the branding is for like me and my brand and the Lottie brand and I'm really excited. I will be popping in and out of the store throughout the weekend so I also would really love the opportunity to be able to meet some of you guys. So I'm going to hunker down here at my computer pretty much all day. Definitely not the most exciting way to spend the weekend but i just need to get some stuff together i'll probably go get lunch at some point and then i'm going out with my friends tonight and then i have a really kind of fun cute sunday planned okay i don't know why but i feel like i don't really talk about products very much on here but i was just tidying my little bathroom cabinet and thought i would just talk to you guys about some of my favorite products this summer that i'm obsessed with a lot of which i got quite recently but i think are 100% worth it and also some of them are things that I just repurchased like over and over and these are very summary specific and I think that they're so good I'm just gonna run through these super quick but first things first the jet lag mask from summer Fridays especially if you're traveling a lot I think this has a very light chemical exfoliation in it but after traveling if I put this on I swear to god my skin glows it's so hydrating you can put it on before you get on the plane or once you land and like sleep with it overnight I usually will just wear it as a moisturizer for like a day or two afterwards because planes are so dehydrating but i really love it and it does not break me out the other summer fridays product i'm obsessed with is the shade drops this is their sunscreen i've been using this probably for five months now i don't know if i'll ever use another face sunscreen because i've tried them all and this sits the best under makeup it gives the best glow it doesn't pill at all if you're putting foundation or anything over it speaking of sunscreen this is the naked sundays hydrating glow mist it's spf 50 it is 
a spray sunscreen so you just like one it smells unreal it's so good for like putting sunscreen on your chest and your shoulders before you're about to run out and it actually gives a really good glow over makeup i usually put this in my bag and it is so so good for tennis matches so if you're going to us open this year and need to pack a sunscreen that you can just put on over makeup I think I've probably gone through five bottles of this. I discovered it when I was at Australian Open this past year in January and have been obsessed ever since. Next, this is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo. I was a Batiste girly for, oh my God, eight years. I consistently have a pound of dry shampoo on my head because I wash my hair probably once a week, which is why I always wear my hair up or in like a half up because it's always really, really dirty. And this dry shampoo is probably the best one that I've tried um, and it also enhances the blonde tones. The next one is the Ole Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I just discovered this probably two weeks ago but I love it. I've been such a freak for the Summer Fridays lip balm which I really like but this one smells really good. It's very summery. It kind of has like a citrusy smell and I feel like it lasts for a really really long time so if I put it on now I probably won't have to reapply for like six hours, which I don't even know how they do that, but it's so good. Next is another very summery one. So this is the In Beauty Bronze Body Glow. So if I'm wearing a tube top or a tank top or something, I will put this on, literally just rub it in with my hands and you get the best like super summery bronzy glow. I feel like if you're going to a pool or something, it's really, really good. It just makes you glow. Similar to that also in beauty, this is a new product. It is the face glaze bronze. So I've been using the in beauty regular face glaze that does not have like a bronze tint to it for a few months. I use it as a primer. It really gives a nice glowy, I actually am wearing it right now. It gives a super nice kind of glowy base. Um, and this is a bronzing one. I would compare it to the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops, but this kind of looks like that. I mix it with my sunscreen actually. And see, it's just, it's like an instant self tanner. Last one is the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. I think I mentioned this in my video last week. This has been all over TikTok. I have not used a new face product in years. I have been completely loyal to the Dior Face and Body Foundation. I've been wearing this every day for the last two weeks. It's a skin tint, but depending how much you use, it can kind of have the coverage of a foundation. I've been wearing it out at night, and also during the day I'm wearing it right now, but I feel like it looks very skin-like. I feel like it's perfect for the no makeup makeup look and just goes on very well. I would use a brush with this. Don't use a beauty blender. I'm gonna go to a berries class, and then I'm going to get ready to go out to dinner. Okay, I got one of these little phone leash things in a PR package and I had it on my phone for a little bit, but then I was like, that will be so cute on my camera with the pink case. So I just added that. I'm going to happy hour with Kate and Maddie. This is the Huxley set from Princess Polly. I think I have this in like four different colors. It's just such an easy outfit. I got it in green for Indian Wells this year and I just love it. And then I have my little Prada bag. And then these little shoes are from Steve Madden and they're surprisingly very comfortable. We are going to Rintintin in Soho, which I have not been to before. We're going to Acme. No, sorry, the Nines. What happened to your boy? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to the Nines, and then I think we're going to try to go to the box. Yeah. We will go to the box, but how we're do you We're probably know? going to run into my ex-boyfriend. I need to get Colton talking about his breakup. Colton just broke up with his boyfriend. There were two ways that he could have gone about it. One way would be like the Jackie O, like, <laughs> I'm going to be chill, like I'm going to handle it with grace. <laughs> And he went with, with lemonade Beyonce <laughs> swinging with a baseball bat. I'm gonna go, go big, as my mama says. <laughs> time feels like an hour. Sunday, I have been 
nonstop since I got here. I have literally been social every single day. I've gone out every single night, whatever. I'm getting it out of my system. Today is Sunday. I kind of wanted to do just a little wholesome day in my life. Some of my favorite things to do in New York when I have a free day on the weekend. So we're gonna go on a little adventure today. This is my little outfit. This is the new Set Active collection, their tennis collection. It is so cute. So this is the little dress and then there's kind of this little over shirt, but it's super comfy and just perfect for a casual day. Weekend mornings are my favorite time in the city because it's so quiet. It's not even that early, but there's just nobody about and I kind of love the peacefulness of it. Okay, I'm taking a little trip down memory lane. This is my old block. This is a neighborhood that I lived in for one summer. I lived on this street, Thompson, and it's the best location. I'm like two blocks from Washington Square Park right now, but the apartment was a nightmare. It was actually like the worst experience of my whole life, and I feel like that's kind of a canon event. When you live in New York City, you have to have a horrible apartment story. First of all, my roommate was actually insane. They tried to Airbnb out the apartment, the other bedroom that was like their bedroom they tried to airbnb it out while i was still living in it on top of that it was also infested with like cockroaches and mice whatever which is normal in new york if you're not in a nice apartment but it was awful i lived right upstairs of carbone there's a huge line of people here i think for this bagel shop right there which was not there when i lived there but yeah i lived on the top floor of this building do you have straws by chance or no I have my coffee, I have my bagel, and I'm in Washington Square Park. And I used to do this every single morning when I lived down the street on Thompson. But it's really nice to just come and sit and drink coffee. I did just get called a stupid by a guy because I wouldn't talk to him, so that was really sweet. But now I'm gonna enjoy my bagel. for like one hour and first I get cussed out because I wouldn't talk to this guy then this homeless guy comes up to me and is like asking for food I didn't finish my bagel so I gave him half of it which of course opens up like a whole nother conversation then this man comes up to me and sits next to me and asks to draw my portrait which I feel like most people in New York like will not engage with a stranger but I was like mm, why not I like had a sketchbook was wearing this little hat and I was like you know what okay so he drew <laughs> that's me it's kind of cute I like I kind of see it. Also this morning I was reading this book, Visual Intelligence. My mom sent me this for my birthday, but basically it's about observing people's behavior. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a self-help book. It's kind of more of like a, a psychology book, I would say, but it's really interesting so far. And there's a lot of like photos and case studies and stuff in the book. Just started it, but I will let you guys know how I like it. My friend Claire is on the way over right now and we're gonna go to Chinatown and I think this flea market that's over on the Lower East Side, but there's some food places in Chinatown that I really wanna go try to. Honestly, Chinatown's one of my favorite areas in New York. I know I went out there last week, but even going during the day, there's a lot of cool like shopping and jewelry stores and the food there is so amazing and I feel like it's some of the most high quality and expensive food that you can get in the city. Claire told me on her way over that she has 26 questions for me because I just turned 26. I don't know what they're gonna be. It's like our version of the Vogue interviews. <laughs> um, I've only seen one of them, the Kylie Jenner one. So this is, I'm just basing it all on that experience. How should we do experience. it though? Should, should I, we do it like where you like walk, walk around? around? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is Claire with Claire Media, and we're gonna ask you 26 questions today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, can you say your name and what today's date is? My name is Morgan. Today is Sunday, August 13th. Awesome. If you had to live in one season forever, what are you choosing? Fall. Hey, Leo, do you know your moon and your rising? I am a moon in Cancer, I'm a Leo rising. I know your baby names and you don't have to say them, but what letters do they start with? And let's see if they still are what they used to be. My what? The baby names you had picked out oh, when you were in college. Um, boy starts with an A, girl starts with an L. Yep, yeah, okay. 
What is your favorite city in the world? New York City. Live from New York, it's Sunday morning. Yay! <laughs> All right, we are gonna go to Chinatown and then go to the flea market in Lower East Side. <laughs> The that one pineapple bun with roast pork. Yeah. Okay, two hands up, fifty five. Two hands up, fifty five. Thank you. We only had to wait in line for like fifteen minutes. It's not bad, but this is what they are famous for, and it is so good. And we're gonna sweat it. Here's. Cheers. <laughs> what do you think? So good. The bun itself is delicious. I'm sure I'm just as graceful as you eating. Today. Honestly, my queen. We're at this little magic tarot crystal store right on Elizabeth Street, and we're gonna get our tarot read because they have a tarot card reader in the store today. This kind of unintentionally became a food vlog because we've literally just been eating all day just got back and showered it's like seven o'clock now we actually tried to go get tattoos after we went to the sushi place but it was like a two hour wait for a walk-in i do really want to get another tattoo i feel like something most people don't know about me is that i have multiple tattoos one of them is a ginormous picasso tattoo on my side and i've been feeling like i want to get another one probably in a vlog in the next couple weeks i will likely get another tattoo i did get two new piercings and then we went shopping i didn't get anything except this little hair clip because it reminded me of barbie also i got so many questions about this little baby tea that i had in my vlog last week so i will link it down below it's from etsy anyways we're just gonna have a little chill sunday night in so usually sunday nights i will order groceries, clean the apartment, make sure I'm caught up on all my emails before everyone gets back online on Monday. I will plan out my content for the week. So like what I wanna shoot for YouTube, what I need to do for TikTok. And then I will usually get self tan and then have a rot night, which means that I just rot on the couch and order food and watch a couple hours of whatever show. The apartment's not a disaster, but it definitely needs a tidying. So usually I'll listen to a podcast while I'm cleaning. The podcast that I'm absolutely binge listening to and i'm obsessed with right now it's called celebrity memoir book club if you follow me on instagram i posted about it a few times but i discovered it a few weeks ago while i was moving so i was binge listening to it while i was moving and i don't really listen to comedy stuff i don't really watch comedy movies i love stand-up like actually going to a show but besides that i feel like i don't engage with comedy content i don't even know how i discovered this podcast but it has me howling with laughter they basically read celebrity memoirs and then we'll do kind of a comical review on it and i will give a disclaimer that they are very harsh and kind of mean i recommended an episode to one of my friends last week and she texted me and she was like i can't even finish it they're too mean if you're easily offended or you don't like people talking shit about celebrities probably not the podcast for you my favorite episodes i've listened to so far that i would like recommend are yolanda hadid uh paris hilton caroline calloway which if you don't know who caroline calloway is look her up on the internet you will enter a deep dark hole and then the lena dunham episode i really enjoyed they do both celebrities like athletes and they also do influencers and honestly their podcasts about the influencer memoirs have been the most entertaining for me because they just let loose on them and i think it's hilarious i honestly like want to write a memoir just so these two will roast me Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't I'm in the midst of 
the couch rot. I ordered Italian food from this place that I haven't tried before. I got penne alla vodka, a Caesar salad, and these mozzarella rice ball things. And then I am watching Red Rose on Netflix. So if you guys like horror, I highly recommend Red Rose on Netflix. It's like a British show, so it's kind of hard to get used to their accents. They have like very, very heavy British accents and use honestly a lot of slang that I don't really understand, but it is quite scary and good. Anyways, I have a super fun, busy week the next week. I'm really excited to show you guys some of the stuff that we're gonna be up to, but Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Monday. I spent so much time dreaming.